Okay, so today I'm going to put some pegboard up in my garage, and for that you're going to need uh, some one buys, pegboard of course, drill, screws, chalk line, uh, tape measure. So first thing you want to do is mark out your two by fours in the wall, and then you want to attach the uh, one buys to those, and you want to do that uh, so it frames the whole outer opening of the pegboard and then put a couple cross members so the pegboard isn't so floppy. And uh, then you put up the pegboard and that's that's about it. So let's get cracking. Okay, so here's the basic shape of uh, the, of the one buys on the wall. I went around the whole outside and then one up the middle where the splice is between the two pegboards and then one uh, horizontally, you know, about head height. I didn't go right in the middle because I may want to anchor some hooks into that one by. And when you're putting these up, you want to measure uh, diagonally and that'll tell you if uh, what you have up there is uh, close to being a square and the closer the numbers are to each other the better. So basically what I did was uh, put the bottom board on first and then measured up 20 inches uh, on both sides but the concrete is not level so 20 inches approximately and then uh, put two screws in each uh, two by four in the wall countersink to everything and then um, I cut the vertical boards and when you cut those, you also have to take into account the width of the bottom board and the top board. And then that gave me the measurement of, of these. So I cut three of those exactly the same. And then uh, put another board on top of equal length and then marked out the ones in the middle and attached them. So now we're ready to hang the pegboard. Okay, so there it is all finished. To put the pegboard on, I basically took a longer uh, one by or two by four, whatever, put one in the middle, just kind of gave it a kick to wedge it in there, and then let the pegboard rest on that while I put one screw in the top middle of each one. So it could swing back and forth and then I could adjust both of them to get them where I wanted and then uh, go around and screw the outer edge and then the middle. And for the screws, I used galvanize and put a little washer around them. The pegboard might pull through the head of the screw. So that's why I used a washer. And then got all the little accessories and I'm gonna put up one more, that piece over there in the corner. And that'll probably help with a, with a lot more of the clutter. And uh, that's it. If you found this video helpful, please give me a like and subscribe. Thanks.